Welcome to my Tech Fund, another film testing video, PLA versus PTG versus ABS. And uh, maybe it sounds boring, but I like this kind of comparison videos because uh, from the same manufacturer, from the GTEC, I can compare these three basic materials and this time I have them in the same color. So these boxes are sent to me by the GTEC in exchange for the review, but I'm not paid anything about this. If you are new to see the printing, then this will be a great video to understand what is the main difference between these three basic materials. If you are not new to see the printing, in that case you can uh, use the data from the previous videos because I'm using the same testing methods and you can compare those with this data. And actually I'm curious here if it will have the average mechanical properties because these filaments are a little bit cheaper compared to the average prices. Let's take a closer look at the boxes. The PLA, print temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. PTG between 220 and 250 degrees Celsius and same print temperature we have for the ABS plus and all three are in grey color. They arrive on these plastic spools with this nice vacuum packaging and desiccant inside but I can see only two holes for locking end of the filament. I'm not sure why it's so complicated to add I know two more or something like that and uh, here we can see the information about the base material and on the other side we have the sticker with the recommended print temperatures. And I will take them out from the bag before the printing so they will not have the drying but the printing will be out of the box. The PLA and PTG will be printed on P1P, ABS plus on the X1 carbon. I also noticed that the hole of the spool is approximately 75 millimeters. This means they are not compatible with the AMS light but not a big deal but uh, we have to print some kind of ring adapter in this case. The thickness is 55 millimeters and the diameter is uh, 195, which is okay. It is hard to see through these bags, but the color is a little bit different. The PTG is a little bit lighter and the darkest is the ABS plus, but it, I don't forget our insert here some footage of printed objects too. I just wanted to throw out these boxes, then I noticed that we have a silver bag inside. It is very thin and bad quality, so I think it would be much better if they could solve that this bag is resealable because this is much thicker. These are my test objects in the slicer. They are solid inside with the maximum number of the valves. Let's see the print settings. For the PLA, the nozzle temperature will be 220 degrees Celsius and 12 will be the max flow rate. And these are the default cooling settings for the generic PLA. For the PETG, I'm changing the nozzle temperature to 250 degrees Celsius, 12 will be the max flow, and these are again the default settings for this generic PLA. And for the ABS, again, at 250 degrees Celsius will be the nozzle temperature, 15 will be the max flow rate, and again the default part cooling settings. PLA and PETG. ABS Plus is also inserted into X1 carbon and I can feel that smell of the ABS, and this printer is connected to the wall through this exhaust pipe. Printing of PLA is almost finished. The ABS is at 70%, but I can feel the smell of the ABS, so I enabled the exhaust fan to 10% only to create some negative pressure inside and to reduce that smell a little bit. Texture PI, I know it sticks good until it's hot, I have to wait until it cools down. PTG will be finished too, and it also looks nice. They're ready for the mechanical testing, I even marked them with these lines, but before that, let's talk about shrinking. Interesting situation I have here, I already measured this for the IZ impact test. This is period, this dimension should be 80 millimeters, this is 79.9 millimeters. And the PTG is more accurate actually. 79.96, usually with PTG we have a little bit more shrinking compared to the PLA. And this ABS has the typical shrinking of half percentage, this means this dimension is 79.63 millimeters in this case. This is typical for the ABS, this is better than average PTG and this is worse than average PLA. I'm starting with a 10 side test with horizontally printed test objects and here you can see the average number and then the PTG similar to PLA, ABS as usual a little bit weaker. And now the layer adhesion test with vertically printed test objects. For the PLA this is a little bit weak. PTG. For the PTG this is very strong. And ABS. Everything below 20 kilograms is weak for me. 
and our tool side that shares stress with the horizontally printed test objects. And here you can see side by side all three test objects. Pire was the strongest here. And then uh, this is the vertically printed test objects. And of course, PTG was the strongest because of the best layer adhesion. All test objects are shared correctly to three pieces. The torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects. I'm starting with horizontally printed and I'm recording the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. 1.3. And then the vertically printed test objects and they break suddenly so I can record here only the maximum load. And when I see break like this, this is typical sign of the good layer adhesion. For the horizontally printed objects, uh, well, the ABS broke a little bit differently. Three point bending test where I'm measuring the deformation under these loads, which I place one by one, and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30, and 60 seconds. Side by side, all three materials. This is under 2.5 kilograms. This is under 5 kilograms. And under 10 kilograms, and you can see the constant deformation on some objects. After the test, no permanent deformation on the test objects. The temperature test in the oven, but I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. And no surprises here, the first one was the PLA, then PETG, and shortly after the ABS. First I'm removing this M10 nut, which was this small load, and then I want to see how soft they are. And interesting for the feeling, looks like the PETG is softer compared to the PLA. Also I can see a little bit more shrinking of the PETG material compared to the PLA. But of course it started to deform on higher temperature. The ISO impact test with this half kilogram hammer and here the ABS should dominate in this test. PLA, zero position. PTG, ABS. Oh, oh. Only three times it happened that the object didn't break under this half kilogram hammer. This is a zero position and this is after breaking the PLA and this after breaking the PTG. This means the PTG is slightly more brittle material compared to the PLA. And this is the ABS. This means the breaking energy is much higher because the object did not break. And these are the distances which I will use in calculation of the breaking energy. The creep test or the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kilograms. PLA. 1556. PTG. 1684 ABS 1594 So the biggest initial deformation on PETG, smallest on the PLA, but I believe that after 5 days this order will definitely change. Day 5, let's measure them. Basically almost no additional deformation on the ABS part and now the biggest deformation is on the PLA. Now let's remove the load. and their permanent deformation after this script test. And now the results. This exit table you can download from my techfund.com website and for my Patreon supporters, I'm adding these three lines to the summary table. Let's start with the script test. Here you can see the deformation, the distance in the between two reference surfaces. And we can see small initial deformation on the PLA. And even on the first day, it had more deformation compared to the ABS. And on fifth day, it had more deformation than PETG. And this deformation, actually, the creeping, you can see on this graph. On the tensile test, uh, interesting, very similar strength of the PLA and PETG. And ABS, a little bit weaker, but this is typical for the ABS material. And on the layer adhesion test, uh, this is very impressive for the PETG. And this is a little bit weak for the PLA. But also this is weak for the ABS. ABS is usually weaker compared to the PLA, but I don't really like those uh, loads which breaks below 20 kilograms. On the shear stress with horizontally printed objects, uh, the PLA was the strongest and PETG weakest here. And with the vertically printed objects, uh, where the layer adhesion is important, PETG was the strongest here and of course the ABS weakest. C-point bending test, and here you can see the deformation after 30 seconds under these loads. But maybe this graph is more interesting, where we can see uh, the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds under these loads. And the smaller values are better, of course. So here we can see that the PLA is stiffer material, 
and then the ABS and PTG. But very interesting, I don't really understand this on 10 kilograms. With the ABS I can see some short time creeping. So in this case I prefer the PTG compared to the ABS. Usually I see opposite directions of the graphs. On the torque or twist test, uh, here the load at 90 degree rotation is more important than here, the PLA was the strongest, PTG ABS uh, very similar, and with the vertically printed test objects, uh, interesting, I thought that uh, PTG will be strongest here for, because of that better layer adhesion, but no, it was the PLA, but don't forget it breaks very suddenly. On the impact test, uh, PLA and PTG both very brittle materials, and ABS plus this is very tough material and only three times I could saw that uh, the test objects didn't break under this half kilogram hammer. On the temperature test uh, expected results, uh, so the PLA was the weakest and ABS the best, but these are the typical deformation temperatures for these materials. And let's don't forget the shrinking, I already measured it and uh, interesting that the PLA had more deformation compared to the PETG, usually with PLA I get better dimensional accuracy. Now conclusions and first about the materials and then I will have some messages to companies. First about this ABS. It has uh, uh, mechanical properties of average ABS material with fantastic impact resistance, but on the other side a little bit weaker layer adhesion. And I already noticed this several times that maybe this uh, weak layer adhesion is resulting better impact resistance, some kind of leaf spring effect. I'm not sure, I have to investigate this a little bit deeper. Also, I noticed a little bit stronger smell with this ABS, like those old regular ABS materials, because nowadays I tested mostly those other less ABS ASC materials, and compared to them, this is stronger smell, and definitely you should pay attention to the ventilation when you are printing with this material. About this PLA, well, it's a little bit different than average PLA material, a little bit more shrinking, and a little bit weaker layer adhesion. Not sure why, maybe they don't like to be printed on these higher speeds, but a 12 cubic millimeters per second flow is not too high. Not sure. Now my favorite, the PTG. Very minimal, shrinking, fantastic layer adhesion. This is very important property for me. So this is highly recommended PTG material from my side. And it also has a great price. And now that message to all those companies. For example, here with, when the GTEC find out that I will finish the clip test today, they basically put a high pressure to me to finish, to publish the video same day. But this is not how it works. I'm doing these videos for free. Yes, I'm getting free spools and I use only 10 or 15% from them. I will send them back if the company wants to pay the shipping. But uh, don't forget, I spent here at least 20 hours with printing, testing, editing. And the average revenue I earned from the video is approximately $10. No wonder that CNC Kitchen stopped with this kind of videos, but I don't plan to change because I know that my Patreon supporters like exactly this kind of content and basically they keep this channel alive with their donations, so big thanks to them for my, that support. And for all you others, uh, question if you learned something from this video, thank you for watching and happy printing.